Why invest now in tech and how much of, of the gains that you're seeing in your fund are tech related? Well, most of the gains in our fund are tech related, we're TMT focused. And we think it's a particularly interesting time in tech, Emily, despite the fact we've been on a nine year bull run here in the market in general and tech stocks have led that run. Um, you know, it's still very early from a penetration perspective. So some of the areas we focus on, e-commerce, advertising, we think we're in inning two or three. For example, in the United States, e-commerce as a percent of retail is about 11 and a half to 12 percent penetrated. Uh, in China, that number is 17, 18 uh, percent, but it's still early. From an advertising perspective, you know, the percent of dollars that are spent online today is still only about 36 percent in this country. So more than half of the dollars spent in advertising are spent offline. Um, and as companies look more and more towards getting an ROI on that spend and getting targeting metrics back from that spend, they're going to be looking to increasingly shift budgets from offline to online. And we expect the majority of that spend to come out of television. So, you know, let's talk about the online ad game, which Google and Facebook currently own. You see an up and comer, and that's Amazon. We do. We think Amazon very quietly has been building a multi billion dollar ad business called AMS. Um, this business was started a couple years ago and it's primarily targeted at CPGs. So if you or I do a search today online on Amazon for paper towels, we'll get over 200,000 search results. It's very hard to distinguish product types on Amazon. And I was with the CEO of a big four ad agency in Las Vegas two weeks ago. And he mentioned to me that in the boardroom, of every boardroom in America around C at CPGs, the conversation is around how do I avoid commoditization on Amazon? And the answer to that is spending ad dollars to differentiate that product. Uh, if you think about where Amazon sits in terms of the funnel, they're at the bottom of the funnel. They know exactly when you convert and whether you convert. Mm -hmm. And that's very different than Facebook and Google, which are top of funnel. So Facebook and Google, while they can track you across the web, they may not know whether you actually converted on that product. Um, and that's sort of the holy grail to advertising and why advertisers are increasingly more attracted and thinking about advertising on Amazon relative to Google or Facebook. So do you think that Amazon could surpass Google or Facebook in the ad market? It's going to be tough to surpass Google. You know, Google's about an $80, $90 billion ad business today. We think Amazon's around a 2 to $3 billion ad business growing about 100% year over year. Mm -hmm. We do think, though, over the next 10 years, there's a real possibility that Amazon becomes number two mm -hmm. and does surpass Facebook. Um, That's bad news for Facebook. Not necessarily bad news because most of that share we think comes out of TV and primarily Google. Okay. Um, Facebook's a little bit of a different buy uh, and then it's more of a, a brand build as opposed to direct to consumer or, or e-commerce. But that being said, this is very transformational for Amazon. So the street is maniacally focused on whether Amazon is going to do an 8% EBITDA margin, 9% EBITDA margin, or 10% EBITDA margin three quarters from now. We think that's the wrong conversation. We think the better comps to look at are, are Facebook and Google. If Amazon, if Amazon's revenue were to grow to 50%, if 50% of Amazon's revenue were to become advertising over time, we think the business overall could earn a 20, 30, 40% EBITDA margin.